Well, 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 well. Tell everybody hello. Hello. Everybody. Tell them what we did today. We caught some fish today. We did. I even got to set the hook, which is great. This is the first day of partners that Billy's been able to fish. It's, it's been, been two what, years. Two years you haven't been able to catch any fish. You've been hanging out with no fishing. Yeah, I just ride in the boat and that's right. eat Pop-Tarts and you do eat a lot of pop drink Mountain Dew. All right, guys, so here's what we're doing. Uh, first of all, I just wanted to bring you this little video. It's going to be quick, 10 minutes long. Hang out with us for a little bit. Uh, we've got kind of a different schedule this, this week with the travel video with the tournament videos and the practice videos so I wanted to bring you a Thursday video and that's what you're watching right now and right after this on Saturday the very next video will be the official practice and that's gonna be compiled of the three days of practice and basically we just finished it the first day of practice and we figured out some things and that was what was really cool uh, we caught some fish swimming worms in the grass we caught fish on bandito bugs we caught fish on flipping Cinco's. It was actually pretty good. We learned a lot today. Giving you a little quick little thing. I want to show you how I have some of the rods set up. Give you a couple little quick tips on how to fish in Florida this time of the year. And that's that. So just want to kind of hang out with you guys. 10 minutes or so. And if you're kind of new to the channel, here's what we're doing. We're here at the Bass Masters event at Lake Toho. That's in Kissimmee, Florida. It's the very first bass open of the year. I'm excited about it. I've got to catch some fish. I need to win this tournament, guys. I really need to win this tournament. Billy, yes. you need to win the tournament too, my friend. I know. I know. And see, he can win. How much do you win? Like 20, 30 grand, 40 grand? Yeah, 20 something. I think it's a boat, right? Don't you want a boat? I don't know. I'll take it, whatever <laughs> right. it is. All right, so let me show you what we uh, we fished with today. That right there, guys. The Bandito Bug. This is Okeechobee Crawl. No, that's, no, that's Okeechobee Crawl. One of my favorite colors. Black and blue works good as well. Oh, let me go show you my rod setups real quick. Okay. Here we go. Let's see. This is another one that's really, really good. When you're fishing here in Florida, a lot of times those fish get a lot of pressure in those pads. So you fish a Cinco style bait or a stick worm. Pretty simple. Black and blue. You're going to notice a lot of my soft plastics are black and blue. Quarter ounce weight. I've got it pegged right there. You can see that little bobber stop that I use all the time. And I pitched that in the pads. That's what, that's what I was doing today, pitching that in the pads. And a 17 pound, actually this is 20 pound P-line fluorocarbon. And another favorite Pro Battle Series rod, 7.6, right here, pretty sweet. Uh, these rods are going to be out real soon, by the way, guys. I caught a lot of fish last year on a little setup just like this. This is just a watermelon red fluke, 8 ounce weight, 15 pound P-line, little 4 out hook. And that right there in the clear water, guys, is a great way of catching fish that are on beds. Oh, this is a cool rod here. Uh, favorite just sent these to me. This is the Supremacy rods, brand new super high end this is a 7.6 heavy action rod extremely light i wish you could feel this rod that is extremely light so we'll drop a link in the description for the brand new favorite supremacy rods probably the best feeling rod i've ever put in my hands honestly i mean that thing is super legit so now let me show you the other two setups here so this right here is my big fish bait gonna see me catch a few fish in practice during the practice video uh, on this bait that's what I caught them on today black and blue bandito bug trocar TK 130 now, I like this hook and here's why it's a straight shank let me give you a tip so when you're flipping I like a straight shank hook versus a EWG style hook is good for throwing like soft jerk baits things like that when I'm flipping TK 130 all the way and what I love about it is this little keeper slide that bait up and I turn it and lock it in now that bait, the bandito bug, is locked on that hook really good. And the reason I like the straight shank, and here's, here's why, I'll show you. So there it is, weedless. Now watch when I poke this hook, when I start to poke this hook through. See how that hook is at an angle? It's pointing up. That is ready to get them. That is ready to bite them. And EWG style, the point is laying flat to the bait the whole time. Which is, again, good for certain things, but for flipping, I do like the TK-130. I've got this one rigged up on braid, 50-pound P-Line X braid. And this is a favorite Big Sexy, 711, extra heavy, but I did modify it slightly. I like the 711, the way it comes stock for throwing big swim baits on Okeechobee. But for flipping, I like a little shorter handle. And what I did, believe it or not, I just took a hacksaw, cut off the handle just a little bit. And that is literally some gaff tape right there and I took the ring that was on there and popped it off and stuck it on there so I, I made that little butt right there that is a rod that I'm going to be throwing a lot in the tournament and then this setup right here 
pretty legit for fishing here in Florida. When you hear me talk about swimming a worm, you hear me talking about it all the time in a lot of my videos. Swimming a worm, swimming a worm. And that's literally a swimming worm right there. It's a paddle tail. Zoom makes one, the Zoom speed worm. We catch a lot of fish on Lake Okeechobee. You've seen Hillary fishing with the speed worm a lot. That is a, that's a must have here in Florida. You just cast it out. I've got it rigged up on a quarter ounce weight, braid, bobber stop again, TK-130 as well, even though I'm not flipping a TK-130, and here's why. You could throw an EWG style hook, but with the EWG, that little part right there sticks up a little higher. When I'm in a lot of hydrilla, a lot of stringy grass, I like the TK-130 because everything is super streamlined. Look at that. See how that's just real streamlined? There's no thing sticking out right there. So today what I did was just make long cast, let it kind of sink down in the grass, and just a steady retrieve back to the boat. I'm not twitching it. I'm not jerking it. Nothing like that. When you see me fish tournaments, guys, here in Florida, I'm going to always have a swimming worm on. I'm always going to have a flipping bait like the Bandito Bug. I'm always going to have some type of punch rig with an ounce and a half, two ounce on it. I'm always going to have a fluke rigged up, uh, Texas rig, top water. This is a prop bait. Now, what's good about the prop bait, I didn't catch any on it today. But the next two days of practice, water is going to be warming up every single day. These fish should make a move, and a prop bait like this is great. Now, let me show you a tip. This is a really good tip for you. Here in Florida, we're dealing with a lot of times big fish and a lot of grass. So if I threw the prop bait on fluorocarbon, it won't work all that great because fluorocarbon sinks. And if I throw it on straight mono, a lot of times you'll lose a big fish because it's so stretchy. Straight braid to a mono leader. That's about a six inch or maybe eight inch piece of 20 pound P-Line CXS. I'm able to cast it far. I'm able to debate a lot of action. And then if I do hook a big fish in the pads, in the grass, this braid a lot of times will chop that grass as it goes through and you won't lose the fish as much. If you threw straight mono and all that grass, this fish will bog you up and get off. That's something I'm hoping I can develop this week, because if I can catch them on that, that's going to be pretty sweet. Let's see what else we've got here. Uh, lipless crankbait. I've got a live target rigged up. I've got a Yozuri rigged up. And I also have those rigged up on fluorocarbon, as well as I have one rigged up on straight braid, 50-pound straight braid. If I get in real thick grass and it's, and, you know, it's getting kind of hung up a little bit with the fluorocarbon, I'll throw the straight braid because as I feel that vibration change on that bait, I can rip it hard and it'll clean the hooks off. So that's my setup. Let's go talk to Andrew and the boys, see how they did. Well, that's, that's a little close. We couldn't park on the grass, so we had to back our trucks in and do all this craziness. So I just showed everybody what we're fish with today. Yeah. What are you going to fish with tomorrow? Well, I've got, got, that's the done stuff over here. Got uh, some flipping set up. Well, this is... Uh, this is my uh, speed worm, speed worm mm -hmm. winding through the grass. Yeah, we talked about that. I dropped down way. I was throwing a quarter. Yeah. This is a 3 16 You're getting a little lighter. Just a little lighter because yeah. the grass is so thick. Okay. That's so I just want to yeah. stay. That's a good tip. Yeah. What else? <clears throat> I've got a flipping on braid. Mm -hmm. Yep. And uh, it's a bandito I, bug. It is a bandito Things bug. Sweet. Also have uh, flipping on fluorocarbon. But this flipping is Look a little. What is this? That? Is a little different. You're gonna try this tomorrow? I am. Pull that off. I want to see it. It's finesse. You know when you're finesse flipping. There we go. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. I guys. know you like the straight shank hooks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't. Why? I just told everybody how great a straight shank hook is. Well, and I probably should use one, but you get hung up a lot more with it. Because the hooks, were, but you also don't miss fish because the hook's sticking out, and yeah. For beginners, I would say use that one. I don't miss many fish. Let's show everybody. Nobody sees what this is. This is oh, a, yeah. a so spinner, like a little beetle spin. It's okay. kind of screwed into the back. Just, a, just lock. add a little, yeah, screw lock. Just add a little flash. A little swivel, mm -hmm. and a little beetle spin blade on the mm -hmm. back of a. Cinco thing, and then you just reel that. Uh, well, you you can do it, it real slow. I'm probably just gonna be more finesse. You gotcha. know, pitch it out yeah, there yeah, and yeah. just kind of okay. Give a little flash. Right. So, guys, as you know, we all run together. We all talk fishing. We all, uh, you know, 
We don't like tell everybody where we're fishing, but we kind of throw bones out there. Andrew. Yeah. Where you is, man? Yeah. I'm a bad well, So how was your day today? <sighs> um. I was really excited about coming down here, and then I actually went out on Toho and learned what Toho is all about. Man, I thought they were going to be on beds when I got here, and I thought grass fishing was going to be phenomenal. I never had a bite in the grass, and I never saw a fish on the bed. Really? And so, um, I did not have a great day. Uh, it was what was the water temp? 68. You'd think with 68, they'd be like piled up there and, the it, and it's been in the 60s like yeah, you can tell yeah. it's been in the 60s for a while yeah yeah so I, I i'm i was really confused about that and i know it's florida but we just had a full moon i don't believe in the whole full moon thing but you know everything was setting up for them to be there yeah and they're not even trying to push yeah it's like but they might move it's like on. a ghost they might town, move on the last day of practice maybe i mean you gotta check there might be a fish yeah. or yeah, yeah but like the the wave we're right. looking for like the wave we're all like yeah. that ain't happening yeah I mean, at least not yet lost. i mean it might get better though you never know it might get man. better but i don't think better. i don't <sighs> i know they can push quick but man it doesn't even have to look push like really they even want, like they, there's not even anything you can't even go flip around up there shell and get bit yeah it's like a ghost town from like it three is. foot and less yes so where did you fish you fished on kissimmee yeah right? i fished on kissimmee now my day was a little bit better i mean i caught some fish um caught a seven pounder well, big really? giant one it was yeah. awesome yeah it was big yeah, that's right uh, but it was it was all by itself I that's what like big I girls just, like to do. They like to sit off by yeah, themselves. No, I just didn't find enough of them big girls sitting by themselves, I guess. What are you going to do tomorrow? Uh, actually, I'm probably going to go up to Toho, even though I heard right. it's really bad. I'm going to Kissimmee. Are you? <laughs> yeah. That's what yeah. Flip them up. We're, we're just, gonna, we're just like Kissimmee. changing everything up. See what happens. Kissimmee. That's where I'm going. Where are you going tomorrow? Um, I guess to the ramp with you guys in the morning, we'll be rolling. <laughs> And hang out with Brandon the whole day. Oh, that's Where's Brandon, by the way? <laughs> What's he working on? I want to be on camera. Stop so checking out lenses. We need some new lenses. Seeing what the next hot thing is. Yeah. So here's the deal, guys. Uh, this video is, again, short video. I just really wanted to give you guys an update on, on how day one went. And just be able to bring you a video for Thursday. Because with the new Bassmaster Tour schedule, it is a little different. We don't have the off day. So it's a little hard to get all these videos together. So, yeah, just a little quick, what's going on? If you are in the area, come by Big Toho Marina there in the town of Kissimmee and watch the weigh-in. It's going on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Okay, so we're watching this video on Thursday, which is right now. And uh, come by this afternoon or come by anytime on Friday. It's actually weighing at Bass Pro Shops. Bass Pro Shops, did you know that? It's at Bass Pro Shops in when? Kissimmee. The, day, the last day. Top 12. Yeah. Huh. Top 12. Bass Pro. Well, I'll Kissimmee. Yeah. So Billy will be there. I'll be there. We're going to be hanging out. We've got merch. Have and uh, in, of course. Uh, yeah. I hope so, man. I want to make the top 12 bad, dude. That's it, guys. Thanks for hanging out. Hopefully, uh, the next two days of practice will be something special. And we're going to drop the complete practice video on Saturday. So Saturday, you'll get to see practice, and then we'll have tournament up shortly after that. So thanks for hanging out, guys, and we will see you. I'm going to bed, formulate my game plan for day two of practice. Boom!